Hey, what is up everybody? It is June with Ray Signs, where we don't just build signs, we build brands. And today we are starting a new section, a new sector of videos that I'm gonna be calling Design Session. And this is just basically where I show you guys my workflow, my walkthrough, and I just kind of walk through the steps that I take when I'm designing or creating a certain type of, um, of design, basically. So it's gonna be a design session. And in this design session, all we're gonna be discussing is how to speed up your workflow uh, when you have really, really slow files. And this tends to be a problem whenever we get a logo from a client, a logo that we didn't design ourselves that has an excessive number of vectors or um, that needed to be converted from something that really wasn't intended to be a vector file and was converted over to something that is a vector file. But now we have an, an, like an enormous amount of vectors or really heavy, really like the file is really heavy and really slows down your workflow. So this is how to speed it up. Uh, at least this is how I do it. It's just a quick, cheap, really fast alternative, um, but it, it gets the job done and it helps us just kind of get these um, designs rolling really fast and really quick. So stay tuned and let's start. I'm just gonna... couple of things for files that are like this one that are extra heavy a couple of things that you want to like look out for and that will help you move faster and get these files done faster okay so first things first if you can make sure that instead of saying view it using gpu um you already have it set to gpu right now it's being viewed by the cpu but really the gpu should be processing this information this was just um, the original file of this was set up with the CPU, so that's why you have that. Um, but that's a little bit more technical. Next thing is that for a file like this, you want to make sure you keep your workspace clean. So per option, you would have a file. So option A gets its own file, then you save it down as option A. Option B gets its own file, save it as itself for the template. Don't put every single template next to each other because now you're bogging down like the RAM that needs to be used. So keep that in mind. Just try to keep it as clean as possible. And as you see, it's only what's inside the artboard. I don't have anything else around it. So it's just a clean file. All right. Another thing that I would say is um, this logo right here has a lot of complex vectors. And this thing that you had here had a lot of complex vectors as well. So what you want to do is you want to simplify that as much as possible. For this one, I rasterized this image. And for this one, I just welded it into one shape. And I'll show you how I do that right here with this one. All right. So you see the difference. There's a lot of shapes going on. And I'll go ahead and go into outline view. So you see there's a lot of shapes. All these are vectors. Vectors are math equations, math equations that your computer has to process. So you really don't want your computer to be working that hard, especially whenever you're trying to do these quick designs, because that's what's slowing down the computer. So this is the version that I did. And like I said, this is not a working file. This template file is not a working file. It's not meant to be used as a production file. So help your computer out. These are just to show the clients what like it will look like. So um, to help it out, I converted this super complex vector into an image. So it's now it's just a square rather than it having to process all these vectors up here, which even when I click it, it's slow. It just processes this square. And then all these lines were cleaned up. I just welded it together, cleaned it up. And rather than having to process all of these little points, now it only has to process like half of those points with this other like with this welded version, you see? So help the computer out, um, strategically use those points. And then let's go back to view and preview. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll start off with ungrouping everything, because that's another thing that it's grouped um, with all those heavy vectors. Anytime you have to move it, like grouping is not a bad thing. It can be grouped, but um, when you have this many things, you gotta simplify, all right. So let's start off with this logo. We're going to go to object and then we're going to hit down and rasterize. Go ahead and you put a transparent background, whatever. Uh, all these settings are pretty much set up to whatever it needs to be. You can leave it in 300 
or you can lower it down to 150. Like I said, this is just a, sh a show file. It's not a working file, so it doesn't matter. And then you hit OK. And let it do its thing. And what basically is happening is in, it's turning this vector image into a raster image. A raster image is just like a regular PNG, JPEG. So, um, so it's just going to like reduce the amount of points and just keep it into one flat image. The one thing about this is that once you convert it into a PNG, then it pretty much becomes a useless picture. Okay, cool. So you see, it pretty much turns it into this pixelated, ugly little shape. But that's fine because you're just showing that the logo is going to be placed there. This one, and that one is because I actually put uh, 150 rather than 300. If you uh, rasterize it at 300, you're still going to get a pretty good quality-ish image. It'll do the job. And that's basically what you're trying to do. You're just trying to do the job and show it. On the working file, Do absolutely do not do this. For the, for the working file, you should have a vector shape um, and you should have it like ready. The working file should be ready for getting production files done. This is just for the template file. I just want you to know that that's very important that you do not mix things up. This is, an, this is more advanced, but it's really just to show what can be done in order to speed up your workflow. But um, don't use it for working files. I just want to reiterate that. All right, anyway, um, these these complex shapes, you already know how to do this. You just got to ungroup these guys. And I'm going to ungroup this. And then I'm going to go here and make sure that the white is not selected. There we go. I'm actually swapping out the color to a white color background. That's why I'm doing this. And what happened to my beauty? I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to click on those. I'm going to go to front and then I'm going to click on this click on these shapes go ahead and weld that all right so now it's one solid shape I am going to make sure that that is a white background for my case and then click on these other objects turn that over to black all right this is a new design actually that I am doing oh my gosh not again and if it crashes that's fine that is fine that is fine. All right, cool. It just crashed because of the changes. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file before it crashes again. Where I'm going to go downloads and I'll just put whatever. Cool. All right. I'm going to try to do that one more time. Let's get that over to white. And can I please have a black outline? Thank you. And that'll do for a black outline. Switch these letters over to black and we should be good to go. Okay, cool. So that is the updated sign design. And like I said, I am just going to copy this. And it's a good thing that I made this a transparent PNG because now I can move that with ease. And I can go ahead and group all this back together. Copy and paste. Brilliant. right there okay cool all right and now we have like such a workable and flexible file you see now the template is not taking up too much um like ram it's not taking up too much processing power so it's not bogging down your system so you can keep on working you can work faster and um it still gets the job done all right, everyone, that does it for today's design session. My name is June with Ray Science, and I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to the channel because we are going to be posting more videos. And I want to have this uh, design session thing be a whole series. So if you guys are interested in a particular subject that you guys want to learn when it comes to sign design, wrap design, or any type of graphic design, make sure you guys comment it down below and I will make sure to get on it with uh, with those videos. The next thing is that I want to make sure that you guys know that these files that we made, these are not intended to go into production. These files are just intended to go and be like a picture that we print out and show a client or show a customer or show somebody when you want to show 
what the sign is going to look like. But definitely, these are not intended to be used for production. So uh, for that, that's a whole different video. That's a whole different design process. So like, I just want to make sure that it's clear. These are simply just to be used as simple mock-ups. And one last thing. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Family and love is what I stand on. Talking big, big. I knew that one day that I could make it big, big.